So, uh, just finishing up five days in uh, Nashville and spent two days in Birmingham with the fam. So, I uh, took a week off cards. Uh, thought we earned it. So, uh, it's back to that grind. So, we're pulling out of my buddy Barry's house in Nashville and we're heading to Tunica, Mississippi to see what the action's all about. Um, from there, we're going to bounce up to Oklahoma and then uh, head down to Texas and then Austin to get back on I-10. So, cool week coming up. Excited. Uh, let's get started. Stopped in Memphis, hit up a Kroger to then come uh, come eat lunch, um, and uh, guess hit a couple couple rough bumps along the way, man. It was uh, it's about as bad as I'd seen it in here. Usually just some clothes fall, but um, pretty much everything fell. But uh, clean it up and get some lunch, and then get to tunic. So in this hand, I open ace queen offsuit under the gun to 10 and it folds around to the small blind. This is pretty late in the night. We are, uh, I think we're playing six or seven handed. Um, flop comes out queen, 10, deuce, rainbow. So really good flop. And we continue for 15. And the small blind check raises to 30. Um, I think we have to call here. Uh, he's a very capable player. And, um, but we're near the top of our range. Um, he checks again on a four spades, and uh, mm -hmm. I elect to bet, and uh, bet for forty dollars into eighty-three, and he does the stop and go again. So he uh, check raises for a second time, this time to eighty dollars. Um, we take a second here, and against this particular villain, who we know is capable. And I think it could be betting King Queen, Queen Jack, um, mm -hmm. King Jack, Jack Nine. We elect to call and see what happens on the river. We were thinking about jamming here just because he only had 70 behind. But uh, we just decided to wait and uh, let him continue with all bluffs or just have to call his jam and he rolls Queen Ten or pocket deuces. Um, and he jams for 70, which is what we thought. And uh, we just kind of take a second. But the way the hand was played, we're always calling here. But just thought I'd include this video because it's so rare to see a stop and go twice in a 1-3 no limit game. Uh, we get the call out there. I mean, it's we're four and a half to one pot odds. You know, we don't have to be right hardly ever to make this a profitable call. We call, he says, good call. Rolls over his cards and he says, would you look at this? And he had king jack of spades. So he actually had a pretty strong hand and turned a, a ton of equity against us. So kind of wish we would have jammed uh, the turn, which I might have done against 
a, uh, a less active player, but I thought he continued bluffs too. So, uh, just going to cover the hand I kind of got coolered in, in Tunica, um, which kind of caused me to get up and leave the table. Um, I decide to straddle. It's, uh, I was at a must move 1-3 game, and I go over to a new one and um, just kind of want to get a good image right away. Um, so the first time the button comes around, I Mississippi straddle to six. Uh, and under the gun makes it 16, folds around to me, I call. Um, I have jack five of hearts. And we go two ways to flop. Um, of king, 10, nine, two hearts. So we flop a gutter and a flush draw. Under, under the gun gives off a strong tail. So I decide to check back because I don't want to flip uh, against ace king, you know, 12 outs or against whatever he could have. So I, I like to check back. Turn comes two of hearts. Um, so we make a, sh we make a flush and, uh, villain elects to lead for $20. So he bets 20 into 36, he bets 20 into 36 and we elect to raise. We make it $55 and he goes into the tank and calls, uh, river is what I would think is a pretty good card. It's a jack of clubs. So it actually puts a four card straight out there. Villain checks, I bet 80, and he takes a second and jams to 190. Um, check raise on the river and one three is always strong, but since it was a straddle pot and there's four cards so straight and it's $110 more and I don't, I'm getting three and a half to one um, I like to call and villain, of course, rolls over ace, king of hearts. So I was pretty much drawing dead, except to an offsuit queen at three outs on a flop. I thought it hit so strong. Um, I think that in a one, three game, I think you need to put less weight into the fact that an opponent realizes you straddled and you should be weak. Um, especially with the check raise on the river. Um, I think I should have been able to get away from that hand um, in a 1-3 game, but I didn't. Made a bad call and then ran <laughs> ran pocket queens into queen 10, lost, and then ran jacks into king jack and lost to two flop straights. Um, so after that, I got up and left for about an hour and a half and came back. So. Don't be afraid to walk away from the game. The casino's open 24 seven. There's plenty of time to get your money back. It's 3.52 in the morning. Just finished up playing at uh, Horseshoe Tunica. Ended up playing two sessions tonight. Kind of got cooler than my first one. So it took like an hour and a half break when I got dinner and like came and hang out in the camper a little bit. And went back and, and ran pretty well. So uh, good results, and I uh, lost 360 in my first session, um, which was three hours. So I was just like, all right, stop. Game wasn't that good. Uh, stopped and then came back at 10. Now I played five hours my next session, five and a half hours really, and came up 617. So I really recommend just kind of taking a break and getting away from it for a minute, man, if things aren't going your way.